I'm Shell Luscombe and I'm nominated for Creative Fundraiser of the Year. And I'm completing 50 challenges following my 50th birthday, raising money for Alzheimer's Research UK. My family, we have a history with dementia. So my dad had Parkinson's disease for about 16 years. My mum was his carer and it became very clear that she was following the, the same sort of path. So come my 50th birthday in July 2021, mum was in a nursing home with advanced dementia. So I set up a Just Giving page, sent the link out to all my friends and family and said, right, you can set me any challenge in exchange for a donation. My very first challenge was to learn to drive a barge up the Thames, paddle boarding. I've had to learn lots of different dance routines. Uh, I've had to bake things and uh, I'm the world's worst cook. So that was quite a challenge. I had to do 20 random acts of kindness in a day, which was really fun. That was like 20 challenges in one day, actually. One in three people born today will develop dementia. For every four cancer researchers, there's only one dementia researcher, and this is worldwide. The average cost of dementia to the UK is estimated at 26 billion, which is more than cancer and heart disease put together. You know, it's really important that we're funding research. One of their missions is to find a life-changing treatment by 2025. So I thought, yes, this is, this is what we need. I just really wanted to do something that was going to raise money to sort of raise awareness of dementia. But also one of the main things for me was the research. You know, that, that's absolutely key. I have completed 39, so 11 to go. They're all set for me now, and I've just started number 40. Cycling 50 kilometers in a week. I've got to spend a night in a haunted house, learn to fly a glider, and do three loop the loops in a glider. We're doing that one next week. Couch to 5K. Um, I got to learn to play bass, guitar on a song, and perform it. Someone asked me what mum and dad would think of all this. I think they would think I was completely crazy. My name is Craig and this is Amy and we've been nominated for Creative Fundraiser of the Year. Our challenge was to take this classic green wheelie bin from the north of Wales to the south of Wales to raise money for Big Moves Charity. Their main goal is Project One Million, which is to raise a million pounds to help people with their mental health. I just really hope that it opens up the conversation more for people to, to talk about the, their mental health and to know that it's okay to reach out and just to talk to somebody. So last year we lost a, a good friend, Lee, um, who was really open and honest and she really talked about her own mental health and she was just an advocate for, for speaking up. That's why we got the number plate, Speak Up For Lee. And so for this challenge, we, we wanted to make her proud, you know, take her with us as well, carry her message through, which is if you are struggling, then just reach out for help and, and speak to somebody, speak to anybody. And we've both had our struggles with mental health as well, and especially Amy, because Amy's had um, suffered with anxiety in the past and, and does, you know, on a regular basis. And I think by sharing that and being so honest about that, it's helped a lot of people. Like she gives people like courage, and she gives people. Um, you just give people a lot of hope, and it's it's amazing. Thank you. You're a champion, babe. Thank well you. We've had a variety of reactions to the wheelie bin. Funny as well, like some people are literally just like, what on earth are you doing? <laughs> it's really quite hard pushing this bin when we're up on the cycle paths and we're on a mountain somewhere with nobody around and then it's raining. So on those days when the sun's not shining, having to like blast some 80s rock music to like get up the hills. If you've got a one wheel idea and one person that's willing to do it with you, everybody else will follow and it's just been a beautiful beautiful experience i was buzzing when i knew we were nominated i was sat on the, on the bed like is that us does that mean that we've been nominated if it's not like pushing a bin then like you know what it would have been so it's and, fab uh, and to be invited to like a posh ceremony yeah so. it just feels like all of our hard work is worth something you know people can really get behind it and go right they deserve an award for that and that means a lot to me yeah well done, babe. Well done. I'm Phil Heckles and I am more commonly known now as Hercule Van Wolfwinkle and I have been nominated for Creative Fundraiser of the Year. So Hercule Van Wolfwinkle just so happens to be this perfect spoof artist's name um, but it was my Facebook name for about 10 years, this fake name so nobody could find me unless I wanted them to and Hercule Van Wolfwinkle was 
was born. So uh, that's basically what happens when you leave me unattended with my thoughts for more than 10 minutes. I tend to get into some sort of mischief and then draw your pet. <laughs> my project is basically drawing, some people say rubbish portraits of people's pets. Um, and I am doing that to raise money for Turning Tides and for Street Pet. So when I started, it was just a joke comment that went out to my mates on Facebook. My son had to make a thank you card for my parents. I didn't want to do it and he didn't want to do it, but just, so just to get him interested, I got all of his like, pens and paper out and I drew this picture of our dog, Nala. He coloured in this picture that I'd drawn. And while he was doing that, I thought, I reckon I could do better than that first picture. And I tried my best and it was rubbish. And um, it made us both smile. I put it onto my Facebook page with this jokey comment about pet portraits are for sale. And the rest, as they say, is history. So uh, fast forward two years and I've drawn about 1,100 portraits and have a waiting list of about 50,000 people that want their pets drawn. All of us in our lives at some point are gonna need the help of someone else. And I think if we look at the homeless men and women in our communities and we don't wanna help those people, the people that literally have nothing, then what does that say about where the help might come when we might need it ourselves? The community of people that follow me are so supportive of what we are doing. Not only has it been great to be able to raise all this money for Turning Tides uh, and subsequently Street Vet to allow them to do the work that they do, it's also been great to just raise a little bit more awareness of the issues of homelessness. And I know we can keep doing some good for as long as people want me to keep drawing their pets and as long as they keep donating, then I'll keep drawing their pets.